So a year ago, I posted a video of me using magical powers to control a neighbor's computer who was blaring some music. Recently, that video's been getting a lot of attention and people keep asking how I did it. There's many theories. Uh, people think that um, it was Bluetooth speakers or iTunes sharing or something else like that. The truth is, I did it with magic. So I put together a demo that shows how you would go about that if you don't have access to a magical wand or if you can't get one on Amazon. I don't know what that's about. It's a web network which is fortunate due to its intrinsic weakness. As data moves between client and router, initialization vectors are distributed, and since some IVs are weaker than others, it's easy to predict their contents and eventually the network key. So the first thing we're going to need is lots and lots of IVs. Uh, as you can see, we've only got about 450, so it's necessary to break out our request reply attack and speed things up. I'll be using Airmon to monitor and aircrack eventually to crack the keys. Now, as you can see, after 20,000 IVs, we were able to get the network key, so now we need to authenticate with the network. Okay, looks like we got in, so now we want to start responder so we can start capturing some of the traffic on the network. I blocked it out here, but what's happening is there's some SMB traffic going on, which means that those computers are trying to start some sort of file share. Uh, this is a normal thing that computers do on networks. We take those password hashes and throw them into John the Ripper, and as you can see, he was able to crack the password hashes in about 5 seconds. So now I have the administrator username and password for both computers. I'm using PSEXE, which basically lets me uh, log in and launch a payload program, but the uh, first computer blocked it because it has NIDs, so I'm going to use Veil Evasion, and I had no problem. With the second computer, I used Responder again to use a man-in-the-middle attack and inject the beef hook. Once the beef hook was uh, installed, I was able to use a interpreter payload, and bam, we now have both computers compromised. As so I'm going to go ahead and start taking some screenshots of the desktop so I can see what the user is doing. In this case, the user is browsing Reddit. You know, taking a picture like that, you can actually see the entire screen, not just a little square. I don't have it maximized, though. But you can scroll around and see what they're doing. Uh, we want to go ahead and check in on our second machine and uh, take another screenshot as well and see what that user is up to. So basically this gives you enough control and enough eyes so you can see what the person is doing, you can see files, you can see the processes that are running. But if that's not scary enough for you, uh, another thing that you can do once you've uh, entered the computer is you can also take a picture with the webcam. Once you've got a interpreter shell, anything is possible. You could close any of the processes, you could install a hacked version of VNC so you can pause somebody's music, and then you can use a command shell so you can start launching YouTube links to silly music, kind of like I did in that prank with my noisy neighbors.